Thank you so You're already working hard. I know. It's great. I love being up here on the patio. Yes. And I'm so inspired. Coming in this morning, all I heard was Rio, Rio, Rio. Yes. And for me, it's so important to talk about the roots of Rio. So we're talking about European, African, and Amerindian influences throughout the, all the food. Right. And what I've got here is uh, churrasco. So barbecue. Barbecue everywhere. And making it simple is really key. Have a look at this finish. Now, on top, uh, everyone at home would be familiar with something called a gremolata. Yep. Now, a gremolata is just very simply a little bit of lemon, a little bit of parsley. But what we have here is we've added some heat. We've got some jalapeno in there. Yes. And what I love is it's just as simple. So you take a beautiful steak, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt and pepper, always seasoning with some good sea salt and black pepper. Fresh ground is always best. And then just a slathering of this beautiful topping. And I just, just smell that. So mm, that's so good. The citrus, so lemon, lime. Yes. And, and the heat, especially if you like heat, that's it. And you were saying you have a tip. If someone wants to put in jalapenos in there, yeah. there's a tip if you don't want it too hot. So pull the seeds out. Yeah. If you love the flavor of roasted jalapeno, then put the jalapeno in, keep the seeds out. Mm -hmm. So this can go straight onto the grill. I'm going to flip it that side down and put a little bit more on top. Okay. Now let's talk about something that's really exciting. Does this look like a pudding you've ever had before? No, not. Let's see. No. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, nothing. Do you know what? Uh, this is uh, cassava, and cassava root is where we get tapioca. I just learned this today. It's had very no exciting. Idea. It's very and have a look at. So just a quick preparation. It's easy to peel. You can see how quickly that skin comes off. Mm -hmm. And what you want to do is just peel it down to get to that beautiful white inside and. Just as I'm peeling here, you can see the finish of these deep fried or shallow fried cassava. So if you're a little tired of the potatoes at home, you want to try something else, this has the same texture, really unique flavor, yeah. and I'm telling you, you will impress everybody. If you say, well, would you like some cassava fries mm. with that uh, beef tarasco <laughs> that I just made, and that incredible chimichurri. Exactly, and it's pretty easily accessible too right it now, is. you can so, get it. Yeah, so originally when I, I was introduced to this in Guyana, yeah. so I'm blown away by it when I first had it. I was so excited when I came home, I figured I'd be importing it by the, by the container loads, <laughs> and I get here and it's everywhere. Yeah. So it's readily available, and it's a really exciting product. One of the things you do know, need to know how to do is how to uh, how to clean it. So once you're done peeling it, nice and clean. Try and go as quickly as I can here. So let's say we clean that up completely. Yeah. yeah. Just a quick trim of the root. So top and bottom, and then I'll portion that. And you can see in the center, there's a. a a core Tiny essentially. Core there. Yep. So what you do to get rid of that is just simply slice it down and quarter again. Mm -hmm. Just like you would treat a carrot or right. a sweet potato and then just nick out that center core. Important to take that out. It's very woody and then you've got basically like a french fry known as yucca or yuca and also cassava but this is something that is a staple in South American cuisine. Trust me, you'll be happy if you try it. It's it's really delicious. It's gluten free. It's gluten free. Getting, it's I have to tell you a funny too. story. When I was there, I was like, "This is gluten free. That's great." I get home, I'm looking for gluten free recipes, and I'm like, "Potatoes are gluten free." What am I? It's so excited about you know. <laughs> come on! I thought I had found the holy this grail. Is this is it. But these are delicious. delicious. They are. Yeah. So then, let's talk about another staple. I've got a uh, classic Bra Brazilian feijoada here started. Now you can see some black beans. They've so them overnight it's all that's necessary so beans are really inexpensive but they're high in protein yeah. so you'll notice this is a protein rich uh, dish you see I've got some pork in there we're gonna add some chorizo in there okay. and some onions it does this seem like a little familiar to something we've got here at home one pot meal with beans oh, yeah chili. it's a little bit like chili. Like chili so it's common sense it's easy to eat it's a great street food mm -hmm. but if you think about the the Rasco, the barbecue, and how good a little bit of this bean dish on the side would go with that. It's nice, especially for outdoor cooking, because it can all be done on the grill. Oh, you can put this on the grill too. Yeah, That's just right. set it on the side, or like yeah. with the cast iron, I tuck it right inside, let it bubble away, and by the time you're done cooking, it's come to perfection. Very good. All right, and you have this sauce as well for the. Cassava. I do. So it's uh, again sriracha. So we talked about you know, they, yeah. you know, South America loves the chilies. So chilies in every different uh, variation. Yeah. 
Perfect simple mayo makes it great for dipping and some familiar flavors. A good squeeze of fresh lime will brighten up the flavors and cut through some of the fat mm -hmm. in the uh, mayo. Okay, and when you get thirsty, where are we going next? Caipirinha. Ah. So we can do something, a, a little scoop of raw sugar, which I love. You know, raw sugar is uh, rich in flavor, has some really beautiful textures. And this, one thing I do love about this drink in particular is how fast and how simple it is. So I've got a couple who can't slice lime wedges. I've got some, uh, some ginger. Sure. And you, by the way, at home, you can just use a, uh, a spoon to peel back ginger if you're a little nervous with a knife. Okay. No need to worry about that. You're just gonna take a few slices here. Of course, ginger is very fragrant, but it gives it a little bit of kick. Again, yep. back to the heat. And a muddler. Now, if you don't have a muddler at home, you can use the back end of a wooden spoon. But you can see as soon as I start, it releases the not juices. only the yeah. juice, but also the oils from the, uh, the zest of the lime. And the finish of this is ice. Nice. So it's ice nice cold. cold, top it up. And this is great because it's so fast and you can make large quantities of it. You can do, you know, eight at a time. And what's this? This is cachaça. So okay. this is this is sugar cane taken, distilled into a beautiful perfection. Ah. So beautiful drink, little garnish of, uh, of a lime wedge. And so that way when you do enjoy the drink and you put it to your mouth, you get that lime, you get the ginger, and you get that sweet nectar from Brazil. All together. All and together. This is, what, this is all what makes up the region pretty much when it comes to Brazil. It a does. Touch, touch of everything. It does. We've got all the recipes online. Yep. If you want a flavor, if you want a taste of Brazil and participate in the Olympics, watching the 100 meter or a cycling race, this is the perfect meal. This meal for sure. Oh, that's awesome. So if you can't go to Rio, Rio, we bring it to you. We bring Course, all right, and as you mentioned as well, all the full uh, recipes can be found on our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Thank you so much for Thank joining you. us. We're heading on back on break on BT. We'll be right back. Stay with us.